Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. If you had one minute Apologia. to be able to unpack for the audience, Apologetics seeks to give credible answers to curious questions, to give a defense. What are the proofs of the resurrection? In 1 Corinthians 15, 17, the Apostle Paul says that if Jesus Christ hasn't risen from the dead, then we are still in our sins and that our faith is futile. That's a shocking statement, isn't it? What that tells us right there is if Christ is not alive, then we are a bunch of deceived people as Christians. Everything rises and falls in Christianity on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Is there any evidence that would make the resurrection of Jesus Christ plausible? There is. First of all, the very fact that women were the first to observe the empty tomb. That's a very significant truth for us. Why is that? Because in the Greco-Roman world, in the way that the Jews in particular perceived women, you would understand that if somebody was trying to fabricate the resurrection story, they would not have women showing up at the empty tomb. Women were perceived as less valuable than men. In fact, the Jews would say, God, thank you that I'm not a Gentile, and thank you that I'm not a woman. We know that it took two women's votes to equal one man's vote. And so women showing up is one proof. Another proof of the resurrection is prophecy. We know that Jesus Christ said, destroy this temple, and three days later, I will raise it back up, speaking of his body. We know Psalm 1611 pointed to the resurrection. And even in Isaiah 53, we see that the suffering servant would not stay dead. Moreover, the empty tomb, nobody has been able to discover the body of Jesus Christ. Isn't it astounding that in the very place where they crucified Christ in Jerusalem, that is the epicenter where Christianity exploded from. And so they never were able to bring his body to bear. While everybody was saying Christ arose, Christ arose, some were saying his body was stolen. But nobody could bring his body to the place and show that his body was still there. Why? Because Christ is alive. More than that, we have post-resurrection appearances where he appeared to people on several different occasions, including his brother James. More than that, he appeared to 500 people at one time. Some will say, you know what? They were hallucinating. Well, listen, 500 people hallucinating at once, sometimes it's just easier to believe the truth than it is to make up a myth. And then finally, life change. Think of the Apostle Paul. He was on the Damascus Road getting ready to go and arrest Christians for believing in Jesus Christ. And the Spirit of God arrested him as he saw the resurrected Christ. Life change. People's lives have been changed as they have studied the proof of the resurrection. Among them, Dr. Frank Morrison, C.S. Lewis. We know that Josh McDowell and perhaps you. Jesus Christ is alive. He has risen. He has risen indeed.